back. We'll go back. We have dogs now. They're being cute. Ah, <sighs> good. All right. Let's find I, out what happened. I had packed the few things I owned into a briefcase and a single cardboard box, set to be shipped with the train. I sat and stared at the box somewhat bitter. I barely even needed it. I didn't own much. <laughs> so you're dead, Hannah. Yeah, Dad? My father stood in front of me, a weary smile on his face. Even though he tried to hide it, I could see by the deep wrinkles around his eyes and forehead that he was tired, sad. The past few years had taken their toll on him, and I hadn't eased things. We'll be leaving tomorrow. Yeah. Oh. Alright, Isis. A heavy silence hung between us, filling my childhood bedroom like styrofoam. Mm -hmm. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, I am. He nodded and glanced around the room, at the pale blue walls, the broken clock above my old desk, the scuff marks around the door frame for where I ran into it as a kid. I lived in this house almost my whole life, ever since moving after kindergarten. It was everything I knew, but now it was too much for me. The decision to transfer to Asago didn't come lightly. First, it was a prestigious institution with a highly prized reputation. Only the best of the best, touting either great grades, impressive talent, or lots of money could get it. I mean, at least it's not uh, Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to kill anybody. I was none of those things, but I made it in regardless. Part of me suspected I was a charity case. I received a small scholarship and it would no doubt look good for the academy to have fostered a poverty-stricken child in its walls. And despite the fact that my father couldn't afford it, even with the scholarship, he guaranteed to support me if I went. Kimchi's just like, let me kick you. Kimchi, rude. He kicked me. Kimchi, that's rude. I looked again at the wrinkles in his face at his sagging shoulders, he pressed his hands against his body to hide the way they shook. All for me. He'd be all alone. Oh. I'm, I'm glad you're going. I think this will be good for you. Yeah. I wish I could say something else, but nothing came. Well, honey, just in case you get homesick, I brought a present for you. Uh, a present? From his pocket, my dad produced a shining pink... <laughs> Contendo for it, yes. And place it into my hands. For you. But, why? How? Dad, this costs so much. You're already killing yourself to let me go. Why would you... Tears spilled from my eyes and my dad smiled. Nothing is too good for you, my dear Hana. His voice was trembling. You're my pride and joy. You deserve so much better than you've gotten from me. You sh don't nuzzle my hand because you're mad I'm holding your foot. It's because you keep kicking people. Dad. Go to Asagao. Have fun. Make a lot of friends. And when you get homesick, you play with that. I'll make you. I stood up and hugged him, burying my face in his scratchy sweater and oatmeal smell. <laughs> <laughs> I'll miss you. I'll miss you, my little Hana. <laughs> miss you. But the thing is, he forgot to give me a cartridge to play with. Aww. Now I glanced at the machine, hidden behind my desk lamp. My watched me carefully. Well, well, you never know what could happen. What, what do you mean? <laughs> my giggled. Nothing, nothing at all, but just, I just got back, so I've got work <gasps> to do. Work, right. PPG and I still had that project due, and we hadn't met to discuss that at all. He said he had it under control, but I should probably make a backup plan just in case. It wasn't that I didn't trust him. It was just that, okay, I didn't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> Sighing, I worked a kink out of my shoulder. It looked like it would be a long night. Aw. Hey, 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 hey. Isis, it was the TV... Chill out! <laughs> Isis, it's fine! It's okay! Stop it, please. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm 
even coming. Is it Poopagoo? Who on earth would do this so early? So early in the morning, in fact, that it wasn't even light out. I quietly padded over to the door. My shifted in her bed. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god! Josh, really? Just take this in real quick. Oh God! <laughs> I just want to do a really stupid falsetto for him. It's about time. Oh, oh, honey. He, she, pushed past me and swept into the room, flipping on the light switch. Paula and Nick followed after him. Uh... Anna, I feel just terrible for ruining your uniform. Sincerely, we owe you an apology and a clean uniform. I'm not so good at that kind of thing, so I brought a friend to help me. Josh pulled open my drawer and tossed out clothes left and right. <laughs> oh my god, stop. That's my underwear. What's wrong with you? I ran to him and grabbed his arm, pulling him away. These, These panties are so cute. They're perfect for you. <laughs> Get away from there. Where's your uniform? I ducked below Josh and pulled open a drawer and pulling out the sticky fabric. Mm. She still hasn't washed it. I know. Here, take it. I threw it at Josh's face, but he caught it with ease. This is no problem. I promise I'll have this cleaned in no time. Girls. He snapped. Follow me. Paul, Nick, and Josh swept from my room. But they didn't heed towards the Head. hall exit. Didn't head towards the hall exit. Instead, they turned left, heading deeper into the dormitory. Good. I didn't have a good feeling about this. I stepped into my slippers and ran into the hallway, just in time to see the door to the girls' bathroom close. <laughs> oh no. Ah! What are you doing in here? I sprinted to the bathroom door before I could get there. Paul and Nick slammed into the wall across from the door. Men like you are the worst! Whoa! Whoa. No, this is all a misunderstanding. Please! I'm sure it was! No, Mimi, it really was. Wait a second. Where's the other uh, person who was with them? She's doing something with a uniform in the sink. Mimi tossed her head with a sniff and headed back into the bathroom. Um. She actually thinks Josh is a girl. <laughs> she would be the first. Josh himself believes he's a girl. That wig is magical. Uh. Well, stay out of the girls' bathroom is not exactly going to help your platform if word gets around that you're a per pervert. A shadow fell over Paul's face. I sighed. Don't worry, I'll talk to Mimi. Go back to the dorms, boys' dorm. All right. Thank you so much, Hannah. Yeah, yeah. I watched him scamper away, then headed to the, into the bathroom. Oh, nice bathroom. <laughs> hey, Joshua, Lena. Hmm. You and I should probably get going. I rounded the corner and found him doing Mimi's hair. Uh. uh in a, second. In a second, Hannah. I've just got to finish this. Hannah, have you met Joshalina? She's so good with hair. And look, she even got the stain out of this shirt. Mimi held up my uniform. Really? Really? Thank goodness. Thank you so much. Stop. 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 It's no problem, honey. I guess I'll let you finish, Mimi. Why don't you tell... Ugh. You won't tell anyone about Paul and Nick coming into the bathroom, will you? Why wouldn't I? Well, as class representatives, they were just trying to help Joshua Lena get her bearings, and they were showing her where the bathroom was. I should have been the one to show her, but I was asleep and they didn't want to wake me up. Oh, well, I guess that's fine then. Thank you. I stood staring at them, unsure of what to do next. Do you mind? I need to concentrate to finish this. Oh, I'm sorry. 
I went back to my room. <sighs> what just happened? Life at Osago never got easier, did it? Mine was still asleep when I got back. There was no way I was going back to bed, so I changed into my uniform, grabbed my bag, and went to class early. Really, really <laughs> early. Okay. My plan was to get started on the project Miss Shizuka gave us. As sincere as PBG was, I wasn't quite sure he'd hold up his end of the bargain. I stepped into the classroom and went into my seat, throwing my bag against my desk. A small snap came from across the room. Shane. <laughs> Shane! Shane was at his, at his desk, giving me a look. I just want you to know that before you read that out loud, I read, Shane, would at his, Shane was at his dick. <laughs> Shane! Well, I guess he's always at his Shame! Dick. Mm. Do you mind? I'm trying to work. Oh, I'm sorry. I looked to the door, but it was too late to leave, but I didn't want to be stuck by myself with a guy who clearly hated me. I said stop. I sat down at my desk and looked at my hands. This is the quietest place I can find in the morning. Really? Really? Not the library? Shane shook his head. I see. I'll try not to bother you. He shook his head again. You're fine. Do whatever. It'd be awkward if I just sat here there like um. that. So, what are you working on? <laughs> you just said you were going to bother him. Shane looked at me, and for a moment I thought he wasn't going to answer. Then he waved me over. I crossed the room to his desk, and I looked over his shoulder. Several sheets of paper with lightly sketched outlines lay in front of him. Come fight that dog over there. She's being bad. It looked like they were for comics? You draw comics? Yeah. Yeah. What about? He shrugged. Wait on, I just... Hmm. Whatever. He said it with a touch of finality, so I skipped to another topic. Do you mind if I ask where you're from? <sighs> Shane, give a heavy sigh. You are bothering. <laughs> Could you not tell by my accent? No, because we can't hear your accent, and I don't know who you are. I'm hmm. sorry. Oh, okay. I'm from England. This is my second year. Oh. Oh, you have a very good American accent in this Japanese school. <laughs> he continued to draw, etching in the lines of a British flag above what looked like to be a government building. Uh, do you miss it? He finished shading a line before responding. I guess. My whole family is there. You're by yourself? Why did you come here? <sighs> Class will start soon. What? Don't you have something to work on? I mean, she did say, I'm not going to bother you, and then, and then continued <laughs> to bother him. Take, taking the hint, Finally. I went back to my desk. Suddenly, the door slammed open. Hey, John! Hey, look! We got here early! Wonderful. Oh, Hannah, Shane, looks like it's just the four of us. We should stir up some trouble. Trouble? Let's plant an egg on Miss Shizuka's chair, eh? I bet she'd think it was hilarious. No. Aw, <laughs> uh. oh, come on! I bet I could find an exploding bird or two to dive bomb us during class. Oh my god. <laughs> Birdemic! No. That was the no. first episode of JonTron I ever watched was Birdemic. <laughs> Fucking off. I bet you could probably bake her a cake. <laughs> Filled with knives! Really? What the heck is wrong with you? Shane was more than an ocean away from his family and friends. I was only two hours away from my dad, yet I missed him so much. Was Shane homesick at all? Soon other, su <laughs> Soon other students filled the room and my joined me at my desk, asking why I abandoned her. Look at this cute puppy. She's sleeping. I filled her in on the situation. She had a good laugh, but as the clock ticked closer to class time, I felt like something was missing. Poobagoo? Eventually I realized that what it was. PBG wasn't in class yet. The bell rang. Rang. <laughs> the bell rang. <laughs> the bell rang. <laughs> Miss Shizuka came in and class began, but he still he was nowhere to be found. Where was he? 
the real problem that causes grinding to be necessary in RPGs, if you ask me, is that the whole system is flawed. What kind of class is this? <laughs> Miss Shizuka's on a tangent again. She must have gotten stood up. Class was nearly over and PBG still hadn't shown. I was worried, but no one else seemed to care. <laughs> that kid always misses class. Still, what if he was sick? Why didn't anyone care? At the sound of the bell, Miss Shizuka jumped. Oh, well, uh, turn in a two-page reflection on why- Breathe, Isis. On why the human species as a whole has the emotional range of a teaspoon. Do tomorrow. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> she definitely got stood up. Um, um, Miss Shizuka? I stood and dashed to her desk. Yes, Hana. PBG wasn't in cl class today, and I can't can take his notes to him if you need. <laughs> oh, Hana, you're a godsend. Miss Shizuka's eyes watered. She leaned over her desk and pulled me into a hug. <sighs> it's wonderful to see our youth have hope. Hana. She pulled away and stared into my eyes. Don't give up on love. You're young. If PBG is the one you want, you have my blessing. Here, take these papers. <laughs> what? <laughs> she shoved the handouts from today's class into my hands and gathered her things. I mean, yes, he's the one I want, but what? <laughs> what? Bless your heart. <laughs> she left the room crying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. She must have really liked this one. Does this happen often? <laughs> often enough. So you're taking that to PBG? Yeah. But now that I think of it, I don't know his room number. 402. Jeez. How? Is he room with Jared? Uh, oh, no. it's next to Jared's room, so of course I'd notice him leaving in the mornings. What? Okay. Oh, because she ah. just stalks over there and watches Jared leave in the morning? I've got tryouts, so I won't be able to go with you. Good luck, though. I'm sure he'll be happy to see you. I told you, I don't think he feels that way. All right, the dogs have got to go back downstairs. Before I could say anything more, she left the room. Hmm. 400, 401, 402. Here it is. I paused in front of his door, my heart in my throat. I suddenly felt horribly stupid about bringing this to him. It wasn't like he would even look at it. He said to himself that he hated school. But what if he was <laughs> dying in there? John went to a drama club. He wouldn't be back for a few hours. Sucking it up, I knocked on the door. Who is it? Uh. Um, it's Hannah. I brought some notes from... The door swung open before I could finish my sentence. PBG beamed down at me. Hana. Hana, hi. Hey. Uh, hi. Come in, come in. Oh, you get to hear Isis just sitting here panting. I'm sorry. Uh, thanks. Look at this very generic boys' room. <laughs> it's beautiful. He got two screens over there, though. L look at that nice picture on the wall uh. of, of a tree. Ah, uh, yes. I stepped into a messy room. Posters lined the walls and so small So messy! Harvest noon plushies were piled Aww. up on one of the beds. Harvest noon! Ah. <laughs> it's high noon, which I assumed to be PBGs. A TV was on in the center of the room. Turby twinkled <laughs> happily from the pause menu. Cute. You were playing games? Huh? Oh, yeah. PBG closed the door behind me. Um... I didn't feel like going to class today, so I thought I'd stay in and do some work. Well... Well, we do have a tournament coming up, so this kind of counts. Oh, I brought you the stuff we went over in class. Oh, thank you. He took the papers out of my hand and set them on the desk next to a small stack of manga. I'm glad you're feeling well. Were you worried that I was sick? Sorry. <laughs> but that's adorable, so I'm kind of happy about it. What? What? Do you want to hang out? We have to work on our project at some point anyways, right? Well, I didn't really have anything else planned. Great. 